All right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. I am your host, Cartoonish Rungo Pop, and check out my awesome hat. I don't usually wear hats like with a flat bill like this, but it has that UA insignia right there. So, yeah, My Hero Academia, pretty awesome. I like it. Anyways, welcome back to the vlog, everybody. Today is time of this recording January 4th it is day number 55 of my cartoonist vlog um I was gonna try to record one of these uh about well December 31st I was gonna do like oh what went good in 20 or yeah last year 2022 I guess um and uh I didn't really have any specific goals though um I didn't I, I had stuff I wanted to do and wanted to accomplish, but I didn't have anything specifically written down or concrete in my head for the whole year. So I thought, what was the point of that? Um, next was, I wanted to do one maybe on the first and be like, new year, new goals, hashtag goals. Um, that didn't happen. So that's kind of what this vlog is going to be about a little bit. And we're going to get into uh, into what I'm doing right now too, because as of the time of this recording, the first... Uh, I don't know what you would call it, the first episode of The Amazing Red Bee went live this week. Um, in a couple days, the first episode of Madcap Wrestling will be going live. And uh, yeah, I might have bit, a bit off a little more than I can chew with trying to do two comics at the same time. But you gotta make it happen. You gotta make it happen. So that's what I'm doing. And uh, we will dive into that. But yeah, so this uh, before we get into that though, real quick, yeah, 2023 is here. Um goals big goals this year publishing the entirety of uh, the first book of the amazing red bee each book is broken down into its own chapter so like if i wanted to end it on book one it wouldn't be a big cliffhanger for readers and if there are readers there who want to see book two i can easily i have ideas for at least book two and book three if i want to uh madcap wrestling which i will show you in just a second on the screen um, is, uh, is a little bit more loose. I have a general idea of the first story arc, and I really don't know how long that's going to be. I'm thinking it's going to be, like, roughly, in comic book terms, about 12 issues. Um, but yeah, it's going to be, the first arc is just that 12 issues, and deals with the main character, Max Power, and his, uh, his world into the crazy world of professional wrestling that I've created, where, uh, there's, like, some, it's, it's, half and half well not even half it's like maybe 75 percent regular professional wrestling and then 25 percent is like super powered moves so if there's a a pair a person doing a their finisher if you know pro wrestling say like um the undertaker's tombstone power driver it would be that but like there's a superpower finish to it so like he jumps in the air and spins around all kinds of crazy stuff like that we'll get into that hopefully in the future but yeah uh so goals for 2023 Keep going on the Amazing Red Bee. Keep going on Madcap Wrestling. Um, once the first quote-unquote issue of uh, the Amazing Red Bee is done and put online, I'm going to start. That's when I will be most likely around that time, hopefully, starting the Kickstarter for uh, the first issue. Because the, the book one of the Amazing Red Bee can be really broken down into three issues, roughly 90 to 100 pages the entire story so the book first book will be roughly around 30 pages or so so that's the goal there I don't have a timetable yet on when or how I'm going to print the first quote-unquote issue of Madcap Wrestling and I keep saying issue because um I I probably will publish them in issues just because I want to start that's my next goal for 2023 I want to start hitting some conventions um I live on the west coast so I, I'm going to look into like going up towards Washington uh, and Oregon and Northern California and maybe crossing over into uh, some Utah or Northern Nevada. If there's any, I don't even think there really, any, really is anything in Northern Nevada. It's all in Southern part by Las Vegas. Um, maybe even Idaho if they have anything. But I have to make sure I plan that right. So when I'm, that's the second goal of, uh, attending conventions I got to get those books printed because there's really no point in going to conventions and tabling if I don't have anything to sell or promote right so I gotta make sure I have stuff printed but when I get there I gotta make sure it's 
I'm still a no-name, you know, cartoonist. I'm making my way up in the world. And uh, so we got to figure out the conventions that we're going to be, um, well, that will likely yield the best results, to put it professionally. Anyways, yeah, so keep going with the two comics, hit conventions, get printed. Uh, I have a couple printers in mind that I've been looking at, making sure I get, I can afford them. And uh, because even though the Amazing Red Bee will be crowdfunded, I am going to like try to keep that as low as possible, the crowdfunding goal. Because as I've said in other vlogs, the point of the crowdfunding is to get the money to print books, but it is also to finally to build an audience there too. I'm building an audience by publishing and putting out my comics right now online for people to read for free, but I'm also building an audience through Kickstarter and finding because there are a lot of people who who look for books. I'm I mean I look for books on Kickstarter when uh, when I'm backing something. I'm like oh let's see what else is there. So that's the other goal there. So different ways of building an audience that way, going through crowdfunding, going through Kickstarter, trying to find people who would be interested in the book and um, doing it that way. And then the other, the third way, trying to build my audience, like I said, it's a, it's kind of like a cart before the horse. That's not the right term. I'm looking for a chicken and egg scenario because I do want to attend some comic book conventions and try to, you know, uh, shake babies and meat hands and all kinds of stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I want to do something like that, but I need product to be at the convention. So we'll see how that goes. All in all, uh, 2023 is going to be a productive year. And if none of that was enough to fill my plate, I'm also planning on moving. I'm trying to get out of California. A um, couple states in mind, probably either Nevada or Texas, because I do like the Southwest atmosphere. After spending that year in Portland, well, I do like, you know, the weather and stuff like that of like Seattle type area. I thought I, I always thought I wanted to live in that. I don't. I, I like to visit it, but I like the Southwest. I like desert. I like cactus. I like palm trees. I like in and out. So those that's good. <laughs> um, yeah, so I do want to um, figure out a way to move. I'm still working on a day job. So saving up money that way. Man, I saw a vlog recently about, oh, the day in the life of someone who works, I will say, someone who works at an online comic book publisher. And they're just like, that is not, they they got up at like eight o'clock and they made breakfast and they did this other stuff and they went for a run and then they say, okay, 10 o'clock, time to get to work. I'm like, are you serious? Like, we got other cartoonists out here busting our backs to try to make this and you're just oh, 10 o'clock time to get to work two hours later oh time for lunch it's it was annoying so <laughs> I don't know I'm 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 ranting right now about that I may make my, my own little vlog this is the day in the life of a real cartoonist trying to break out anyways my little rant is over there let's get into uh some pages right now switch this over here and uh, I will just show you what I'm working on and what is getting published what was published this week and what will be published maybe uh Probably already by the time this is out, it won't be published yet. Because I think this is going to go, I'm going to publish, I'm going to update this vlog on my channel. And then Mad Cat Wrestling will probably go out the next day. But anyways, let's check it out. Okay, so like I said, yep, we got uh, the Amazing Red Bee here. I'm publishing it. I'm sending it out to my newsletter. So you can subscribe to my newsletter through Substack, wrongcopop.substack.com. And it gets delivered directly to your inbox. Then I am updating it both on Webtoons and Tapas. So here we got Webtoons here. First episode is up. Hive City. Um, the reason I'm updating here is I'm not a big... Like, I don't think Webtoons are the end-all, be-all. You can't argue with the fact that Webtoons has the eyeballs, right? So that's what I'm using Webtoons and Tapas for. They have the eyeballs. Probably not very many people are looking for this type of comic. But this is what I'm working on, and so I'm putting it out on Webtoons just to hopefully try to gain additional uh, viewers. And here we go. I'm just going to go scroll through this a little bit here. I'll just do a, uh automated kind of thing. But yeah, um, I guess people like reading on Webtoons. I mean, it, like I said, they do have the eyeballs. They do have a lot of readers there. The reason I don't... I shouldn't say I don't like Webtoons, but the reason I'm not a huge fan of Webtoons is because... It, um, it's, it, it 
reminds me of just storyboards. When I look at a comic, I want to look at the comic as the whole page. I want to take in the whole page of artwork and digest it all that way. I don't want to read each panel individually. If I wanted to read that, then I just look at storyboards from movies and stuff like that. So, but like I said, saying it again, Webtoons and Tapas has the eyeballs and that's where it ends. And I got my little promotion here. You can read it in traditional format, which we'll get to in a second. But yeah, this place has the eyeballs. So most of this stuff has a lot of uh, romance, web comics, and other stuff. A lot of it does look the same, which is another reason like I'm not a big fan of it. But yeah, it, that's where it's at. If you read stuff on Webtoons, feel free to check it out there. Then again, like I said, we got it on, over on Tapas. Basically the same thing. Have it the, have it set up the same way. And yeah. I'm, what I am learning is that I have a little bit more room to play with because it is all vertical. So like in this, how it fades into the sky here, I wouldn't have that, you know, in the comic book because this is actually a wider panel in the comic book, which you will see in just a second. But because it is vertical, I have a little bit of playroom there and I can change it up a little bit. And like I said, traditional format. So I have my own website for this. What redbcomic.online. You can read the webcomic in its traditional format. It'll be updated every Tuesday, just like the other sites. This is the main page right here. You just click on the for this episode. And what it will do, hopefully this computer runs fast enough, it will take you to the uh, the page with the comic itself fully blown as a full page comic. And that is... This is how I like to take in my comic book pages, my comics. Read the whole page as a piece of artwork by itself. And we got here, see here I was saying the whole page there was cropped to be fit into the vertical format. But here we have it as a full widescreen there. Another wide there. And that's where it ends there. Because like I said in the beginning, or maybe in a different vlog, I am only updating two pages a week. So basically... If you go to webtoons and you read this you can you can't really see the pages per se but the amount of panels that are being put on here are going to be between two and three pages that way what i'm hoping is it will leave me with enough time to to um keep continue drawing and continue writing and you know making the pages uh, and the right format for the websites because if i try to upload all the pages and i'm just going to upload everything and I'm not going to have anything to publish anymore so this is going to be kind of a continual steady drip of this type of stuff all right let's finish out and I will show you what I'm working on right now here in clip studio I've been drawing everything in procreate and uh but it's very easy and I like it but there are a lot there are more options to find in clip studio that are going to help me um with this for instance here I if I drew this all in clip studio I wouldn't have to copy everything over and like save it to Dropbox and everything in order to use it I could continue working on this all at the same time uh, the regular comic book page and then the webtoon format too so starting in the next issues for both Madcap Wrestling and and um, Red Bee I'm going to be switching over to work in uh, clip studio paint but yeah, here is the uh, the the first part of the first episode because I still have to upload it or I still have to add the second page. But this is how Madcap Wrestling starts. And yeah, it's going to be featuring this guy. This is him uh, roughly about 15 years prior. So it's only, it's only like a one pager, but it just shows him discovering what Madcap Wrestling is. And this, uh, this is another thing I like about this using this uh, tool in clip studio paint you can you can see it all like that it's pretty pretty awesome you can see what it looks like in a in a webtoon format just by scrolling and then if i need to edit something i just click on that page need to edit this click on that page so it is uh it's very cool and i can see it all how it's going to scroll down on the phone or tablet 15 years later and then i got to add the second page which i'll probably do tonight and get it ready for the upload date and finally, before I go in this updated vlog, I just wanted to give a big thank you to everybody who is watching this. I'm sure a lot of people who have subscribed to the channel maybe aren't watching um, these vlogs, but if you are, definitely a big thank you. I am over 100 subscribers. I don't know how I did that. That's pretty awesome. 
on my way towards the uh, 100,000 where I can get the plaque. I don't know if I'll ever reach that, but that would be kind of cool. But yeah, no, for sure. Definitely big thanks to everyone who has subscribed and is watching these videos. Um, let me show you something here real quick. So these are my top viewed videos for the channel. And as you can see at the very top, 10,000 views for my uh, Charles M. Schultz Museum trip that I had last year, which is very cool to see. I think um, that kind of blew up because this past year was uh, Charles M. Schultz. It would have been his 100th birthday, I think it was. Um, so that kind of blew up, which is very cool. And, but the other things are the Let's Draw. I got one thing on Eric July's success with his Ripperverse comic. And then I have a couple uh, tutorials in here for Procreate. So it's mostly drawing and um, Procreate stuff that are getting the most views. These are the top videos here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to focus mostly on um, on those type of videos. I'm going to try to draw more. I'm going to try to add some tutorials more. And you know what? I might even have some other type of stuff that's just kind of, you know, um, what's the word? Beneficial, like... It has more uplifting stuff just to keep people motivated, I guess, as drawing. Because, I mean, I know I watch some videos on YouTube sometimes when I'm like, ugh, what do I do? What do I draw? How do I get this done? And then there'll be a video of some artists. Um, DJ Kaufman has that cool Draw or Die channel going on right now. So I listen to some of that stuff. And it just um, it gets some stuff in your brain, gets the creative juices flowing. And I think I want to create some stuff like that. But yeah, anyways, again... Over a hundred viewers, very or subscribers, very awesome, um, and thanks again. That's very cool, and uh, hopefully I will see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe so I can keep get those subscriber counts going up, uh, and keep an eye out for the next video. Probably be a drawing video, and yeah, hit the check out those links down below. I will have the links down below with everywhere you can read uh, the the amazing Redby. All right, thanks for watching.